Hey everybody, this is Joe Joseph and this is the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Well, the Daily Mail has raised the question of whether or not the Earth is due for a pole shift. And I think this is very, very interesting because what this does is it brings to light, at least in the mainstream, the fact that our magnetic fields have been, first of all, they've been weakening over the, um, I'd say the past 10 decades or so. If you take a look at the data, and it's doing it quite rapidly. And you're also seeing the poles move faster and faster uh, towards, I would say, the equator. So the south is moving to the north, the north is moving to the south, and they're moving rapidly. And so what ends up happening is when it hits a certain point, they just instantaneously flip. And you can see this in the magnetic record of a lot of rocks, igneous rocks and things like that. Check this out. Again, this is the Daily Mail. It says, if you could travel back in time, 41,000 years to the last ice age, your compass would point south instead of north. That's because for a period of a few hundred years, the Earth's magnetic field was reversed. These reversals have happened repeatedly over the planet's history, sometimes lasting hundreds of thousands of years. And we know this from the way it affects the formation of magnetic minerals, and that's how they can study um, the magnetic field and the history of the magnetic field. So there's several ideas that exist to explain why magnetic field reversals happen. But one of these just became much more plausible. And this is what is so interesting. Since my colleagues and I have discovered that regions on the top of the Earth core behave like giant lava lamps and blobs of rock periodically rise and fall deep inside our planet. And this could affect its magnetic field and cause it to flip. There are many theories, folks, out there as to why and how the magnetic fields flip. You know, and all I can say is it's not good for life on the planet. It may be a cyclical thing for the planet. However, it's not a good thing for life on the planet because when the magnetic fields flip, they weaken as they are now. It used to be, I remember in the late 90s when we were at a solar maximum, we, there was like an X10 flare that hit the planet and the magnetic field of the earth was able to handle it a lot better than say present day now where even X1s give our magnetic field a, a run for its money. A great YouTube channel, by the way, that I watch from time to time is Ben, ben Davidson's Suspicious Observers YouTube channel. He does a, a, a report every morning on space weather. And it's just interesting to see how our magnetic field is weakening and weakening rapidly, which points to the fact that we're due for a magnetic reversal. And what this magnetic reversal does, of course, is refresh or regenerate the magnetic field just like the sun. The sun goes through it, but I think it's once every 11 years or so it goes through a flip. So, the sun does it much more rapidly than the earth, but the earth still does it. You can also take a look at one of the ancient stories, the day the earth stood still. Uh, and if you take a look at that, a lot of people chalk that up to a pole reversal. The fact that perhaps the orbit of the earth came to an abrupt, pa uh, an abrupt halt and then started rotating the other way. And of course that would have catastrophic consequences, could lead to mass flooding among other things. But um, if the poles were to reverse, it would certainly be, at least in my guesstimation and the guesstimation of many scientists, pretty catastrophic, uh, both in terms of human health and in terms of how the planet would react to it. Because all evidence points to once it hits a certain point, once the North Pole and the South Pole hit a certain point, it's almost an instantaneous flip. It doesn't happen over thousands of years. The magnetic field of the Earth may be at a low point for thousands of years, but it doesn't happen in, in thousands of years. It takes days once it hits a certain point. So just things to, uh, you know, check out over the Daily Mail. I thought it was a great piece and it's something that I know a lot of armchair researchers have looked into for quite some time 
And I certainly give a lot of credence to it. When it could happen, how it could happen, I have no idea. But from a scientific perspective, it's interesting. And at least it gets people thinking about the rock that we live on flying through space. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at TheDailySheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.